Hey, what is going on guys? This is Doc R sending back another Clash Royale video. Um, this one, it's a little rainy out here. It's getting kind of cold, so I'm going to try and hurry this one up. Um, what we're going to be doing today is the Goblin Barrel Special. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and go on over. Let's go ahead and donate to text real quick, guys. Um, let me know if you like this. I know it's a little bit wide, so but I mean, it, it, is, it is what it is. Um, goblin barrel special um, 10 gems to join it cost 10 gems man I didn't know it was costing gems why ain't it free I didn't do one yet okay let's uh let's jump into it anyways forget it uh, got some epic cards that we can win potentially um, so let's go ahead and just join here we're gonna go into battle and see what we got going on guys oh so it's a draft challenge man one of my favorites um, we're gonna go ahead and take the three elixir minions here. We're gonna take the barrel. We got a lot of zap bait going on. We're gonna go with the wizard because that's gonna stop the skarmy. Um, witch or miner. We're gonna go ahead and go with the miner. Uh, I probably should have taken the witch now that I think about it, but oh well, forget about it. Um, he hits us with a thumbs up. We'll hit him with a thumbs up as well. And let's go ahead and see what we got here. We're gonna go with some slow minions there in the back. <clears throat> We're gonna throw our goblin barrel in there just to see if we can get him get him going. And, and oh, we're gonna get some good chip damage there. Nice. He is saving up for something big, which kind of scares me. And okay, so that's what he's saving up for. We're gonna go ahead and drop a miner there on the on that. Hit him with a night witch, and we're gonna go ahead and zap these skellies. And I should be able to take that out. He's gonna hit us with the bats. So we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but that's all right. And we're going to go ahead and save up our elixir and see what we got going on. Man, it is kind of cold now. Oh, shoot. We're going to go ahead and drop the minions on them. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. I don't know if you could hear that in the audio. But, man, I am feeling A-OK -okay today. I have two goblin barrels. Look at that. We're going to drop both of them because I don't think he has anything for it. Oh, he does. Oh, no. Oh, he dropped a skarmy. Now he's got a three elixir advantage. That's not good, guys. Not at all. Okay. Um, we should. We're gonna take that out. Okay. We're gonna drop one of those there, because the dark goblin can do that all on his own. And we're gonna drop a um, miner back there. That was well played. Okay. And okay. So we're gonna save up. I'm. I'm a so. I'm a conservative player. So I always like to save up, but I don't like to be super duper aggressive. Favorite card in the game is a golem. Golem deck. The reason is... Well, you know what the reason is. Come on. We're going to go ahead and hit with one of those. That thing gets taken out. We're going to get some good damage there. Now we've got... Okay, so now we've got the same... We're going to have to go here. If he hits us with a graveyard, we're going to have to be careful... He waited for that poison. Okay, that's key that he waited for that poison. And it's too late. It's too... Okay, Miner's still showing up to the party. He goes ahead and hits, the, hits us with the poison. I actually don't know how much damage that's one's going to go ahead and do, but we're going to go ahead and hit him with an extra goblin barrel. And the princess. The princess took it out. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Okay. We, we have the advantage right now, so it's not the worst thing in the world. He's going to go and drop a musketeer right in the back there. We're going to go and hit with that. Hopefully take those bats out. We're going to have to go there and there and there and drop another goblin barrel and hope that it gets there in time. Um, he's going to go ahead and take out that musketeer. No, didn't take out the musketeer, but we got some serious damage on that tower. I think we're going to be all right. We're going to go ahead and hit him with that right there. We're going to go ahead and drop one of those. We're going to hit him with a Dark Goblin and see if we can overpower this guy. And I don't know if we will. We don't have any direct damage, but we do have three minutes. Three minutes over time, and that should be just enough. I'm going to go ahead and stagger those barrels just slightly. And, okay, so it didn't get any damage there, unfortunately. Which, that's a bummer, but he's going to have to go ahead. We're going to drop a miner. And one of those. And we're going to go ahead and zap these. 
Hopefully we can get some good damage and we need to watch the tower. The tower is going down. The tower is going down fast, guys. Oh, man. Okay. We need to defend 480. Oh, shoot. We're going to have to drop that barrel there. We're going to go ahead and hit with the zap. Come on. Oh, is that one more zap? That's one more zap. We just need one more zap. And we're going to go ahead and get the W here. Come on. We need to defend. We're going to drop a miner and zap and we got it guys look at that there's our first one right there i'm super excited for that one. Oh man these challenges seem to be super duper difficult so any win that we can get we're gonna go ahead and take that all right so we got one win right there um i did like the deck that we had right there it is getting kind of cold out here so let me go ahead and switch into a sweater real quick that whoops those are backwards All right, and we're back into it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We need A wins. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Princess for the quick chip damage. Plus it'll be go ahead and beat the Spear Goblins. Um, I really like that we can get two barrels. We'll take the barrel. Um, Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard I feel can beat a Musketeer. And I really, really don't want him to have a Royal Giant. So we're gonna go ahead and take the Royal Giant. Um, no RG for him. Uh, Papa T Timar, Tumar, Timar, Timur, Timur. Okay, so we got a Royal Giant Giant combination. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work out, but we're gonna go ahead and make it successful, guys. Okay, and we're gonna go and get some nice chip damage there. Not a big deal. We're gonna drop that one, and then the giant, hopefully in front. There we go. What do we got? What's he gonna do? All right, let's um. Drop a goblin barrel on that musketeer. Hopefully it'll take it out. We're going to go ahead and let that one attack the tower. Switch over. He's going to go and drop a miner. That miner is going to do some serious damage, guys. Oh, look at that. The prince is coming over to help out. All right. So he did get a little, he did get some good damage there. I'm not going to lie. We're going to go ahead and save up elixir. I'm going to drop the... RG. We're going to drop the Royal Giant right there. We know that he's going to get a little bit of hits, um, which is perfect. We're going to go ahead and take out the all that. He's going to go ahead and freeze. The Royal Giant's still going to just do some serious damage. Okay, and we're going to drop... He's going to do that. We're going to drop those, drop those. Got to defend that tower as best as we can. All right, we're gonna hit him with a well play. That was pretty good, that was pretty good. So now at least we can take our princess. Our princess can shoot over and get that. We got the royal giant as well. We got a Tesla here to defend. So we're gonna do a slow giant here in the back once we save up this elixir. Okay, so he's got a witch that he's doing. So we're gonna do a slow princess in the back there. And we're also gonna drop one of these Teslas right there. There we go, and hopefully that log, yep, doesn't hit our princess, which is perfect. We're going to throw the barrel, but the barrel's too late. Hopefully that Electro Wizard is going to go ahead and take that out. We're going to hit him with a Royal Giant there on this side. We're going to do a side princess there, and he's going to drop one of those. We're going to go ahead and zap. Princess should be able, oh, that log, great value on the log, by the way. We're going to throw... Okay, so he's going to go ahead and try and go for that tower. We're going to have to use our goblin barrel there. We're going to drop a princess. We don't want him to take the tower, and he's definitely doing some damage to take that tower. Okay. All right, so we're going to drop this Tesla here. Defensive Tesla. We're going to go and drop. Oh, miscalculated. There we go. Take that out. We're going to go ahead and go with the Royal Giant. And if he's got any direct damage, he's going to go ahead and beat us right now, guys. Any direct damage. And, oh, got it. Win number two just like that. Look at that. Overtime is three minutes. That is super clutch. We're going to hit him with a good game, a well played, and thumbs up. Good game, Papa. All right. Dusty, sorry. No 2v2 right now. We are recording for an episode. Collect Goblin Barrel. 31 out of 20. Perfect. Um, we'll go ahead and let him know. 
I'm recording an episode. We'll hit him with a sorry. In a sad face. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go into number three. And we're going to go and take that goblin barrel, like I said, in hopes that we get two of them. We're going to go and take the ice spirit lightning or log. I feel like the lightning is overdoing it, but I don't know what I'm going to have. But that log is going to be great value. We'll take that one, and because he's got the lightning, we'll go and do a wizard. Uh, that's a that's a tough one. That's tough. What do you go with? Okay. So we got a cannon. He's got a he's got a lightning. That's not good in in our favor at all. We're gonna go drop a miner there in the back. We got a lot of low cards, um, which can do some serious damage at least. But we'll kind of see what we can do. And so we're gonna drop a slow mini Pekka there in the back, and, and gotta keep in mind that he does have that lightning. Okay, we're gonna drop that one there. Some I some ice spirits and fire spirits combination. And take that one out really quick. And take that princess. Get a shot off. Get a shot off. There we go. Okay, got one shot off. He has the ice wizard again, so he's cycled back in rotation. And we're gonna go ahead and hit him with this mini Pekka. And we're gonna drop a miner there in the back. But the miner's gonna come in late. That mini Pekka is gonna have the tank. And we're going to get a couple shots off, which is just fine. Slowly, slowly, slowly chipping away at that tower, which is exactly what we want. Man, is he just ignoring it? We're going to go ahead and drop with those and those and get some good shots right there. Okay, so we, we're going to take the damage. We're going to take that damage by the Dark Goblin because we really need... We're going to do that. We're going to do one of those. And keep in mind, he does have the lightning, so we got to watch out for that. Um, he's not using the lightning, so he might. Okay. There we go. We should be able to. Oh, he got a shot off. And the giant got a shot off. Dang, okay. Well played. We're going to throw our goblin barrel over there. I, I don't know what that was. Don't ask me what that was. We're going to hit with the log, because that's a good valued log right there, able to take out those goblins. And we're going to hit with the front miner, because I'm pretty sure, yep, there it is. Knew that was coming. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. And, man, this is going to be a tough one. I don't think we're going to really be able to defend is the only problem he's got the the lightning so we're gonna have to kind of pressure that over there we're gonna have to log that we're gonna have to do one of those numbers we're gonna have to try and stop that giant get rid of that mortar okay so he's got a lightning 18 seconds 17 seconds he has to be able to cycle if he's not able to cycle then we're gonna go and take that w and gosh get rid of that guy right there um, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it in time. Oh, the mortar. The mortar literally saved that man. Oh. The mortar just saved that man. Okay. We're going to drop a cannon over there. And we are not in a good position because we cannot stop this balloon. Balloon, go to the cannon. Balloon, there's a cannon there. Oh, it's going to get its second shot off. We're going to have to do that. Have to drop a log and... Oh, no. We're going to have to hit him with a well played. In a good game. I'm not going to do a thumbs up. He got lucky on that mortar shell. It was just able to skyrocket. Somebody should have batted it down. Boop. Boop. No, no, no. Somebody should have done it. Okay. Let's jump into it. We got two and one. Or two and one. Whatever. And we're going to go and go with an executioner. Because if he gets the goblin barrels, that's going to be really good for us. Um, hog rider. Ooh. Um, 
bowler or which we're going to go ahead and go with a bowler on that one and i think we're going to go ahead and take that and give him the barrel i think that's what we're going to do give him the barrel we know that he's got two barrels now or should have two barrels and i got the lightning on this one which is just fine with me we're going to go ahead and add some pressure we're going to miner in the back, hit him with a hog rider. He's going to go ahead and drop a lumberjack. We're going to go ahead and drop a slow bandit here in the back. We're going to split goblin gangs. We sh should be able to take out that lumberjack. Excuse me, I just burped. That was gross. And hit him with a bowler. I think a bowler is a decent counter to a royal giant. It doesn't even push the royal giant back. Wow, that was ridiculous. Okay. We're going to have to do some more damage here to it. Hopefully take that out. Get a hog rider going in at the same exact time. I thought the bowler would push like the royal giant back, but apparently I'm I'm just wrong. Yeah, I thought that would have been a way better counter, but oh well. So he does have a poison as well. Which is going to make it very, very difficult for us. We're going to hit him with a miner in the back. Bandit. Oh. Bandit couldn't make it there in time. But that miner is going to go ahead and chip, 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 chip. Chip and damage. Okay. And which is just fine. We're going to hit with that executioner. And I did it way too late. Way to go. What a noob. What a noob. And we got Wi-Fi problems. Oh, man. We're going to hit with the Goblin Gang there. Hopefully take that out. Hit him with a Hog. He went ahead and dropped a Poison. We're going to have to throw some Spear Goblins on this right hand side. Hopefully he's distracted with that Hog. That Hog's going to get some serious damage in there. Nice. He just ignored that Hog completely. He completely ignored that Hog. That I don't know if that was the best move, buddy. But hey, we'll take it. I'm glad that you did that. We're going to drop a miner there in the back. We're going to go ahead and hit with the executioner. Because I'm thinking he's going to go ahead and give us some problems. We went ahead and take, took that tower. Hit that. We're going to drop this bandit there in the back so it can charge. And bam. Get some. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hit with the hog rider on this right hand side. Hit with a miner in the back. The bandit's going to come and dash. We're going to get some good damage going now. Now we're just overflowing, overflowing, overflowing. Um, can we get this three crown victory? I'm not really sure. We're going to drop a bandit there on the left hand side in hopes. Oh, maybe a hog rider. Ah, didn't get it. But we did get the victory there, which is A-OK -okay with me. Any W counts. Um, and Mr. Steel, yo girl. Okay, and sorry Dom, no 2v2. Alright, so 3 out of 6, we're halfway there guys. Let's just keep the ball rolling, keep keep it going. Let's see if we can get this one finished out. we got a Royal Giant and a Regular Giant. We're going to go ahead and take the Regular Giant. I don't really work too well with Royal Giants to be honest with you. We're going to go ahead and go with those. We're going to hit with that. Um, Eros or Poison. I'm going to live life on the edge and go with the poison. I don't normally use the poison, uh, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay, so let's see what happens. So we do have a graveyard. Graveyard poison is good. I know that. I've seen videos on that one for sure. He went, went ahead and dropped us with a princess. We're going to drop an early graveyard poison. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Is it going to take out the witch? It doesn't take out the witch. Okay, that's good to know. It does not take out the witch. He laughs. He thinks that it's funny. Then we went ahead and beat up his tower. He did one of those. Okay. I have a mortar? Where did the, a mortar? Okay. So, I play a lot of expos. I mean, is it the same as... Uh, is the mortar the same as the expo? Can you play like the same decks there? He went ahead and Royal Giant, so we're going to go and see if we can punish him. And looks like he's going to do a princess there. 
So unfortunately that princess, and he's got a hog rider. Shucks. We're going to go and drop the spear gobs. So we can beat up that one. That's going to get some serious damage in. And we don't really have anything on the back end of that. Um, hold strong, giant. Hold strong, giant. Okay. Oh, that princess is still alive. Dang, okay. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't really know what to do. I'm panicking. Whoa, he just double goblin barreled us. He just double goblin barreled us and took that tower. Okay, that's fine. We went ahead and took that tower. We're going to go ahead and hit with a graveyard and some spear gobs in the back there. He went ahead and dropped a princess. We're going to drop a poison on the tower in hopes that we can get some good stuff going there. How much, how much damage does that poison do? I wonder... I don't know if that's a smart move or not. That uh, maybe. Let's drop one of those and a graveyard. We'll just keep this ball rolling here. Um, drop a dark goblin and cycle back to our poison. And we're gonna say good game, well played. I think. I think so. Yep. Got it. He's mad. Urgh, urgh. You're so mad. That's fine. Ajax, peace to you. Okay. We have four wins out of six. We're almost there. Collect one more card. Very, very good. All right. What do we got going here? We got... No, not you. Laugh out my 2v2 partner. You want to go? Oh, I just got replaced. Okay, let's jump into another one, guys. Let's do it. I know this video is getting pretty long. First time on the face cam with a little bit of Clash Royale. Hopefully, you guys like it. Smash that like button if you do. We're going to go ahead and go with the Ice Golem. Or whatever that card's called. We're going to go ahead and go. Um, I really don't want him to have a Giant. Because I don't. It's too early. Um, we're going to go with an Executioner there to back it up. Um, Ice Wizard, why not? Why not? I've been using the Ice Wizard, but I like the Princess better. Uh, first world problems, just like that. Okay, so we got a decent starting hand. We're going to go ahead and go with an Ice Wizard there in the back. I don't see a Goblin Barrel quite yet. We do have a Lava Hound, which is very, very surprising, but we'll take it. Um, like I always say, it is what it is. He went ahead and wasted a lightning. I feel that that was not a good lightning. We're going to go ahead and hit with that. And also, we're going to zap, take that out. Hopefully get some good damage. Mega Minion, slap it. Slap it. We're going to hit an Ice Golem just because an Electro Wizard on the tower is not, not what we want at all. And... Okay, so there is that. The Musketeer. I'm going to go ahead and do an Executioner right there. And we're going to go ahead and drop some Archers there. Take that out. That Executioner is going to get some, take some damage. So we're going to go ahead and stop because I don't feel like, I don't really think that that's enough. Or that's enough of a push to kind of proceed on. So we're going to go ahead and just stop there. He's going to go ahead and hit, it with, hit us with the princess, which is going to force us to play. And that is not exactly what we want right there. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and drop a defensive giant, pretty much. And executioner. He's going to be able to whack him from the side. Okay. Oh, man. Darn golem. Okay, so that guy's going to... Oh, no. Executioner, just throw it. Just just do it. We're going to hit with a lava hound there in the back. And he's got that golem. So I'm pretty confident he, that he's going to be able to take our tower. Um, we're not going to let him take it on that goblin barrel. He's going to have to put in extra work. Put in that extra effort. 
we're going to go ahead and we got 10 elixir we're not saving for 12 by any means so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and drop with an executioner there in the back we're going to go ahead and zap all of that stop it just for the moment he's going to go ahead and lightning which is a very very good lightning um, i think that probably might have saved him the game we're going to go ahead and drop one of those not in time and we're going to go ahead and drop a giant and an executioner there for support which is not going to get there in time guys it is not going to get there in time we're going to try and do our best but it's not there 389 um, which is a-okay that was pretty tough against the golem deck um, so I thought if you would have played it different, let me know down in the comments below and four out of six we got four and two um, I like the chip damage, so we're gonna go with the, the dark goblin um, We're gonna go with a big Pekka We're gonna go ahead and go with the bomber because if they throw it off to the one side And we're gonna go ahead and go with that the balloon. So we're a little heavy right now. Let's see what he gave us in return. We have a Sparky. <laughs> oh man, Sparky Bomber. Here, we're going to drop a Pekka in the back. We're going to drop our Fire Spirits. I'm curious. So he does have both Goblin Barrels. We know that for sure. Um... We're going to hit with one of those. And, oh, he's got an Inferno Dragon. That's tough. Okay, so that, that pretty much eliminates our P.E.K.K.A. completely. So that's not good, guys. Not at all. Yeah, that pretty much eliminates our... Okay, that's a well-played Goblin Barrel. Did you guys just see that? That was a pretty well played goblin barrel, if I can't say so myself. Uh, we're gonna drop a slow park. We're gonna drop a slow sparky there in the back, and almost lose that tower. And what is he gonna do with that inferno? I'm not sure what he's gonna do with the inferno. We're gonna go ahead and drop a balloon there. We're going to go ahead and drop a Dark Goblin there. He's got that. Oh, that Sparky is just got incinerated. We're going to count this probably as our third loss. And see what happens. Man, there's nothing that we can do to stop what he has. We're going to drop a Bomber there. He's starting on that other tower because he knows he can take that tower. Man, that's... Okay. How do we get out of this situation, guys? We're going to drop a slow Sparky in the back. We literally have, like, nothing to to stop. We're going to we're gonna lose that tower. We're going to lose the tower. And push there. And we're going to hit with that. Give it our best shot to stop that. And he hits us with a zap, which is not... Okay, so we're going to lose this one. It's inevitable. There's kind of no way around it. And we're going to go ahead and hit with that there. Hit with one of those. We're going to get a little bit of damage. And there's no way around it, guys. There's no way. He lucked into a deck that's just able to beat us. Which is kind of a bummer, but there's, man, when you're able to play a four elixir card and counter a seven elixir card and get a three elixir advantage, man, there's there's no real way around it. So it's luck of the draw, luck of the draw. Um, Chili Esports R2, shout out to you, man. Good good game, man. Good game, but um, I'll catch you on the flip side. We'll see you again. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Goblin Barrel Challenge. We went ahead and got a little bit of gold. We got a rocket. We got one knight. And it's blinking. Ooh, we got a legendary live here on camera. Oh, man, it's the Mega Knight, guys. Dang. That is so sick. Man, I've been playing with a bunch of people that's been, that uh, has it in 2v2 and stuff like that. Now we got it. Oh, that's freaking awesome. That is freaking awesome. 
Um, all right, guys. I hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you like the the camera here. I know it's really wide. I know I've said that before. Um, this is gonna be everything. Make sure if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, punch it right in the face if that's if that's what you do. Do it then, okay? Uh, don't forget if you have any questions or anything like that, comment down below and do not. Blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. This is Doc R signing out. Thanks, YouTube.